Joining us now is Fox News contributor, former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich. Mr. Speaker, good to see you. Welcome good to, to be Hopster. with you. You have quite a crowd right, let me, there. Let me, yeah, we do. They're pretty. Listen, I went to school right down the block from here, so this is family for me. Um, all right, let me start. <laughs> well, that's Hofstra University. Let me start with Mark Cuban, because I think this is really interesting. Mark Cuban, you know, saying, I know I'm prejudiced. I know I'm bigoted in a lot of different ways. If I see a black kid in a hoodie on my side of the street, I'll move to the other side of the street. Now, he also said, I stand by my words and substance after saying that. Hillary, according to Cuban, invited him to be in the front row. Should Hillary disinvite him? He may not be in the front row now, but he's still an invited guest by Hillary. Should she disinvite him? Look, imagine if Donald I'm, Trump invited him. I was going to say, imagine the New York Times if Donald Trump had invited somebody who said those exact same words. Uh, the shock, the anguish, the embarrassment, the demand that they withdraw. If, you, you, if, if, if Mark Cuban's there tomorrow night, you will have as perfect an example of the double standard of the liberal media as anything you could hope for, because obviously uh, the comments he made in the current context should be totally unacceptable. Uh, and yet my guess is that not a single liberal publication will notice them. You know, that's interesting. But if it was Donald Trump who invited somebody with that track record, who said my mentor was a former Klansman, who invited a guy that admits he's a bigot and would walk on the other side of the street if a African-American kid in a hoodie was walking on, on that side, um, they would be disinvited. Do you think the Trump campaign should demand he be disinvited? Well, I think they should certainly highlight the clear hypocrisy of uh, Hillary Clinton and the entire elite media who are so delicate, uh, as long as it's a conservative, but who can ignore anything if it's a liberal. I think people ought to go and ask Cuban, does he really still stand by what he said? Uh, or would he concede that it was really wrong and really sent the wrong signal? Well, he definitely doubled down on it. All right. Now, Hillary and her campaign, they're looking for support from Lester Holt tomorrow. <laughs> and they want Lester Holt to do Hillary Clinton's job in terms of debating for her Donald Trump. What is your reaction to that? They seemed a little desperate. I've, well, I've, I've never seen a campaign so publicly indicate that they don't have faith in their own candidate. They apparently don't think Hillary can stand up to Trump. They don't think that she can correct him if he's wrong. Uh, they somehow want Lester to be their partner. Uh, they de they're desperate to create a two-on-one situation where uh, Lester and Hillary are on one side and Donald's on the other. Uh, and I think, I, first of all, I don't think Holt's dumb enough to do it. And second, uh, I think that uh, it just tells you that, that the Clinton people are very anxiety-ridden. They've watched their polls to, to stink, go down week after week after week. Uh, they're now, frankly, uh, fighting to survive. And this is her first big test. And in the past, she hasn't done very well with big tests. So it'd be interesting to watch tomorrow night. I'm like you in that I'm really looking forward to this debate is one of those things that oh, I'm looking the forward rest of to your it. life, you oh, know. I'm, uh, yeah, listen, I think I'll, we may have 100 million people watching this. Let me ask if you agree with this thing. Do you agree with me that Hillary, she says she's going to advance Obama's economy and same economic agenda. <laughs> she can't run on foreign policy. She can't run on honesty and, and trustworthiness. So my question is, do you agree that she's going to spend a lot of time tomorrow night trying to, well, aggravate Donald Trump? Is that the strategy they've adopted? Well, certainly everything they've said publicly would indicate that that's going to be their desire. You know, and I think that's a big mistake on their part. Uh, I've watched Trump very closely. And Trump's actual strength is as a counterpuncher. My guess is if she went in there and she handled him very delicately and she was very respectful, and we got a very boring debate that he'd go along. I mean, he's going to modulate and operate at the level she sets. But if she really wants a barroom brawl with Donald Trump, this would be an insane misjudgment. Yeah, I mean, 
I, yeah, I, I, you, I, I tend to agree. Yeah. I, you know, I, and listen, then Trump, by the way, view. Trump's been very clear about yeah. that. All right, let me ask this, because Hillary and her campaign, I think, I think they were trying to work the refs today. Oh, Donald Trump lied here. Oh, Donald Trump lied here. She's like the number one lying politician in the history of Washington, D.C. I'll give an example here, but I guess the, 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 the longer question out of Trey Gowdy questioning James Comey about all of her lies is, how does Donald Trump delicately say to the former Secretary of State she's a liar. Watch this. Secretary Clinton said there was nothing marked classified on her emails either sent or received. Was that true? That's not true. There were a small number of portion markings on, I think, three of the documents. Secretary three, Clinton three, said, sorry, I did not email any classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified material. Was that true? No, there was classified material emailed. Secretary Clinton said she used just one device. Was that true? She used multiple devices during the four years uh, of her term as Secretary of State. Secretary Clinton said all work-related emails were returned to the State Department. Was that true? No, we found work-related emails, thousands, that were not returned. Secretary Clinton said her lawyers read every one of the emails and were overly inclusive. Did her lawyers read the email content individually? No. All right, so my question is, Hillary's made honesty and lying an issue now going into this debate. If you're Donald Trump, how do you point out she lied about Benghazi, she lied about her email server, and lied about a lot of other issues? Look, I, I think his greatest strategy would be to be respectful and slightly lower key than people expect. So I think, for example, uh, if he says... You know, that's simply not true, as opposed to you're a liar. Uh, if he says, how can you possibly say that, given what the director of the FBI has already said? I mean, I think he wants to be pulling her out rather than attacking her. Uh, and where possible, he wants to be making fun of her. Uh, to, just to say, for example, uh, you know, nothing the director of the FBI has said agrees with what you just said. How do you explain that? I think that kind yeah. of keeping her on defense. You're a lot nicer than me. I think I'd be more blunt, but I no, think I, it's look, good advice. No, no. So I think look, you should listen I, to you. But Yeah, I, I can be blunt, but I want to be effective. And I think you don't want Trump to be the issue. You want Hillary to be the issue because she is the right. liar. Well said. And I do remember, look, you went after people in debates, you're, that's Mickey Mouse what you're asking me. You didn't hold back at all.